While most dogs may leave a first impression of being cute, energetic, or stunning, the first word that comes to mind when most people see an English Mastiff is massive. Their courage and prodigious strength also match their colossal size, but their personality is noted to be loving and docile. As a result, these dogs have come to embody the phrase, gentle giants. However, should they feel like their family is under any danger, these guys will not hesitate to turn into some of the fiercest protectors out there. And with a dog that size, who also happens to have a history of fighting and battles since ancient times, you'd have nothing to worry about. Want to learn more? Follow along as we cover some of the breed's key characteristics in today's video, Top 10 Interesting Facts About the English Mastiff. But before we begin, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original English Mastiff owners in this video. The video would not have been possible without them, so don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History The English Mastiff breed boasts an ancient heritage. These dogs likely descended from the Molossus, a breed of large and sturdy dogs who were popular throughout the ancient world for guarding flocks, fighting in arenas, and even charging into battles. Other Mastiff-type dogs like the Tibetan Mastiff, the St. Bernard, and the Rottweiler, for instance, are also all said to have descended from the Molossus. However, it was in medieval England that the Mastiff came to be developed as big-game hunters, nighttime guardians, and war dogs. English Mastiffs even fought alongside the British against the French in 1415 at the Battle of Agincourt, which was later immortalized by Shakespeare himself. Sadly, the Mastiff population suffered serious decline when the baiting of animals was prohibited in the UK and the subsequent ramifications of the Second World War didn't help either. However, with the help from American and Canadian breeders, the breed was revived and systematically bred into the modern-day Mastiffs we know and love. The English Mastiff had likely already made their way to America in colonial times, but it wasn't until 1885 that a Mastiff named Bayard became the first of the breed to be recognized by the AKC. Number 2. Their Appearance The English Mastiff's physical features are quite reminiscent of their days as fighters and protectors, with their massive body, broad skull, and square head making them one of the largest dogs out there. They're quite tall as well, with the minimum height for male Mastiffs being 30 inches at the shoulder, while that number is 27 and a half for females. Their head is broad and massive, and a wrinkled forehead accentuates an alert, kindly expression. Their eyes are small and dark hazel or brown in color, while their small ears are dark in color and flop downward. The rectangular body is deep and thickly muscled, covered by a short double coat of fawn, apricot, or brindle coloration with dark stripes. The muzzle, nose, ears, and eye rims are dark, which is an essential trait according to the breed standard. Number 3. They are the heaviest breed There are many ways to look at a dog's size, so calling any breed the biggest would need some context. For instance, when it comes to height, breeds like the Great Dane and the Irish Wolfhound easily take the cake. However, when it comes to pound-for-pound -pound mass, the English Mastiff is second to none. These dogs can weigh from anywhere between 130 to 220 pounds, often weighing more than most adult humans. In fact, one Mastiff by the name of Zorba held the world record for the greatest weight ever recorded for a dog, weighing in at a whopping 343 pounds. Zorba stood 37 inches at the shoulder and measured 8 feet 3 inches from the tip of his nose to the tip of his tail. Although claims of larger dogs have been made, since Zorba entered the Guinness Book of World Records in 1987, it is still worth noting that only a few dogs could ever come close to being this massive. Number 4. Their Personality Despite having a history full of fights and battles, the English Mastiff has a well-natured temperament that is a combination of grandeur and good nature along with courage and docility. They are powerful yet gentle and loyal dogs who are very loving and affectionate towards those they consider family. Strangers are treated with polite aloofness, although they will step in between you and anyone or anything that seems threatening. If the threat continues, they'll even escalate their response as needed. As a result, Mastiffs make excellent family pets. They're also gentle and patient with children, although they shouldn't be left unsupervised around little kids simply because they're too big. Your Mastiff could easily knock your toddler down with just a swipe of their tail without meaning to. So they're best suited to homes with older children. Number 5. They are slow to mature Although there are individual differences in growth and development, larger dogs tend to take longer to mature as compared to the smaller ones. Smaller breeds are usually fully grown by the age of 10 to 12 months, while larger dogs can still be considered puppies for a year and a half. While this does apply to the English Mastiff, they take it a step forward and don't reach physical and mental maturity until they're 3 years old. This means that as large and imposing that your Mastiff might seem, they're nothing but a big baby. However, this also brings the extra responsibility of having to exercise more caution. 
Since they are still puppies at heart, Mastiffs tend to be quite sensitive and are easily hurt by harsh words from their owners. So remember to treat your giant baby with lots of love and patience if you don't want them sulking around your home. Number 6. Their Trainability Although their eager-to-please personality makes training one of the enjoyable parts of owning an English Mastiff, it is also one of the most important aspects. Mastiffs are large and have a natural, guarding instinct. Without proper training, their size, strength, and inclination to protect can be dangerous, if not controlled. So it is your responsibility as a Mastiff owner to ensure that your dog receives proper training and socialization. Start from a young age by teaching your Mastiff puppy some simple tricks and by exposing them to all kinds of sights and situations. Never forget that although they're smart, these dogs are also quite sensitive, so harsh words will only do more harm than good. This is why we recommend practicing positive reinforcement techniques by giving your dog lots of time, love, and treats. Also remember to keep your training session short but frequent, because these guys get bored quite easily and can be a little stubborn at times. Number 7. Their Grooming The Mastiff's short, dense coat is quite easy to groom, usually requiring only a quick brushing every few days. However, during periods of heavy shedding that occur once or twice a year, we recommend more frequent sessions with a strong toothed comb to remove excess dead hair. English Mastiffs also need to have their skin folds cleaned often as dirty ears are prone to bacterial infection. Wipe them out with a damp washcloth and dry them thoroughly. Remember to brush their teeth daily for good oral health and trim their nails once or twice a month if they don't wear them down naturally. During their weekly grooming sessions, their ears should also be checked for redness or a bad odor, which can indicate an infection. Number 8. Their Exercise After hearing about their size and their history as working dogs, you might be guessing that the English Mastiff is an active dog who needs lots of daily activity. However, that couldn't be further from the truth. These guys actually do quite well with a sedentary lifestyle. They don't need rigorous exercise and a couple of 20-30 to 30 minute walks daily is enough to keep them both satisfied and at their best physical condition. However, their massive size can put a lot of stress on their joints, resulting in damage from even simple acts like running or going down the stairs. As a result, limiting physical activity to only a few minutes at a time is an absolute necessity, especially so during their younger years when they're highly prone to developing joint issues. They also overheat easily, so we recommend that you only take them on walks during the mornings and evenings when it's cooler outside. Number 9. Their Nutrition like their exercise needs that contradict their size, English Mastiffs eat just about as much you'd expect these giants do. Although the amount varies on age, gender, activity level, and size, among other factors, as a rule of thumb, you can expect your Mastiff to consume about 6 to 10 cups of dry food a day. Remember to split their food into 2 to 3 meals a day instead of leaving food out all the time, as this helps keep your dog in good shape while also avoiding the possibility of bloat. Mastiffs are also quite the sloppy drinkers, and they leave plenty of drool in their water bowls, so rinse their bowls daily or more often as needed. Without proper attention to diet and exercise, bloat and obesity can trouble your dog, so make sure to feed them and exercise them appropriately. Don't forget that you can always ask your vet or your breeder for advice on your pup's diet. Number 10. Their Health Larger dogs tend to be prone to a number of health conditions, and unfortunately, the English Mastiff is no exception. Owners should watch out for signs of joint and musculoskeletal conditions like elbow and hip dysplasia, heart disease, eye problems, cancer, and neurological problems including epilepsy. Bloat is a common condition in the breed that occurs when air accumulates in the stomach, causing it to twist. Cystinuria, an inherited kidney defect, is another condition that these guys are prone to. To aid in early detection of such condition that may develop, remember to schedule a regular visit to the vet and don't forget to get all necessary health clearances upon adoption. With lots of love and care, your Mastiff will live a healthy and happy life of about 10 to 11 years. Alright folks, that marks the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the English Mastiff. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please leave a like if you learned something new and share to let your friends learn as well. Did we manage to teach you anything new about these gentle giants? Leave a comment below to let us know. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.